Hello. In this video tutorial, we are going to move the cat when we hit the keyboard kits, namely the right and left arrows in our keyboard. So, motion is something that's a category on its own, and we got the move 10 steps in it. If we click here, the cat is going to move 10 steps. Can you see it? If we change this for a bigger number, like 100, then the displacement is bigger. The cat is moving right by default, but then there is no indication of the direction in which the cat should be moving with this move some steps. There is another command for that, which is point in direction. So we can choose either point in direction right then we're not moving that much, we'll get like five steps but we can as well change the direction in which the cat is moving by turning some degrees or by choosing another direction here I'm going to copy this, duplicating it and then I will choose the left direction if I click here the cat is going to point left and move and let's see what happens it's upside down if I make it point right it's, it rotates again why? why is this happening? because the change in direction is accomplished by a rotation then how can we fix it? we can go here click the info icon and choose a different rotation style this is all around this is left and right let's see how this points left and then right moves right, moves left now no rotation at all means it moves right and when moving left the cat is going backwards we'd rather have the cat turning around so we choose right and left now I made the cat move by clicking on the commands making the commands run manually but I'd rather have them go automatically or as I told before when I hit the keyboard when I hit the keyboard is an event and so we go to this different block the events one and choose when some key press the right arrow and the left arrow here so now by clicking on the keyboard I can make the cat go right and left well those commands were on the scripts area there, there is where our programming goes and now there's also the customs which is the way the cat looks and we got two of them and by going from one to the other by looping through them we can make the cat look like uh, it's actually walking so we can animate the motion by using these two different frames one after the other and that can be done here too and that is something related to the looks so we go to the looks block and look for it and there is a next custom here so by using the next custom the cat is going to rotate through the different customs so now I click the right arrow and this is what happens and this is what happens when I click the left arrow okay so we got some motion including a direction triggered by some event in this case clicking on a keyboard key and then we animate it by changing to the the next custom in a loop so we got two different frames of the same cat walking okay thank
thank you that was all